We're gonna work really hard um, and we're just gonna play really hard too. It, it makes zero sense to me to, to be so intense and, and have such a high, high level of, of energy and commitment to your work and then to not have that same level of commitment to the levels of joy and the relationships and the moments where you do get to, you know, just show the other sides of yourself. Like so far my senior year is just continuing to try and, you know, know that we have to do things differently for us to get a different result this year. And so to just step outside of my comfort zone to really push us towards that go. I think we're just really, like I said, establishing that core and making sure that we know who we are in the beginning. Like this year, we're working on a bullseye and just making sure that we know the things that we're up against, whether other people know it, whether the spectators know it, analysts, whoever, and just knowing who we are so that on the court it shows as well. You know, there was just a lot of, of opportunity to really grow as a program last year um, through not ideal circumstances. And, you know, that's fortunately or unfortunately where a whole lot of growth takes place. But what I can tell you is that we had the very best postseason that I've had since I've been here at Clemson. Our, our spring workouts um, going right on into our early summer workouts were just the absolute best. Uh, the level of clarity, the level of conviction of our players of why they were on the court wanting to be there. You know, so sometimes there's there's necessary evils, you know, bad seasons, valleys that you go through because that's part of the trail that leads to the mountaintop. And so that's, that's kind of what, you know, a little bit of the off season was, was like and, and we'd like to believe has really kind of set the stage for what this season can be. What I look back and I reflect on is that I'm really proud of how our group came together at the end of that year. I think we really started to gel and we really started to play for each other and that was something that gave me a lot of like hope and a lot of like positives of things to look forward to for our team and I think off season you know it was really good for us all like to go away get some space I mean for me it was the first time I went home for the first time in two years because of COVID so that was great to just like get space away from basketball and everyone kind of reset and then I feel like that gave us momentum coming into the year knowing that we just have to grind and really buy in for each other and I definitely feel that for like saw that play out in our off season as far as how we got around each other in the weight room on the court in our workouts like everyone was locked in and I think we're really pushing to move towards our future. Um, I think our culture is really strong. I think we have a lot of connection. That's what we really focused on too in our off season was just being connected as one. I know last year we had great in, but we didn't have the best start that we wanted. So I think just trying to keep that consistency going and making sure that we're strong at the core, like I mentioned, and then it branches out. I think our identity honestly is each other. I think we're trying to just stem that core values and everything else out because I think it just shows in everything that we do so if we really truly believe from within it'll show like whether it's offense defense um, definitely want to be a more all, all around team we don't want to be strictly defense and then not be able to make a layup or shoot a three. It, it's just such a testament to the type of people that those two women are you know that they're loyal and you know we have our culture branded as TLC, and and Amari and Hannah are TLC. You know they they show up every day um, through the good, the bad, and the ugly with hopefulness, uh, conviction, understanding how important they are as women in this world, and 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 women who are leading this program by example, uh, in word and deed. I mean they just check all the boxes, and uh, you know and I think it's really important as a, as a program that is growing. You can't grow unless you're stabilized by something. Your foundation has got to be really solid and firm, you know, built on that rock. And Hannah and Mari are our rocks. And to have women like Amari and, and Hannah that chose us as younger women and then through all the ups and downs that you experience and then when you think about during this specific time period what it's looked like with COVID and Zooms and, and Transfer Portal and how it's hit and impacted um, the collegiate landscape everywhere. Um, I mean, it's just the relationship is what endures. 
and you know to to be able to have have built to the place where we're at right now with those two people by my side is um it, it feels really good and it also makes me feel really confident about who we can be as as a program um, from this point forward, but specifically for Team 48. Yeah, I think we're off to a really great start. We had uh, two really good scrimmages against UGA and uh, Coastal Carolina, and I think that just really helped see that practice in, you know, full effect. You know, practice is very long, very mundane sometimes because you're seeing the same people competing against the Cowboys all the time, but I think actually incorporating some of those different opponents and people that, you know, are coming from different conferences and the different toughness levels and skill sets, um, it was definitely good to see how everyone reacted. Um, we had a really great, strong start in the first half. I think we still have to find ourselves as we go to the second half and things like that. But um, as far as right now, I think we have really good energy. We're really good, um, you know, getting our touches, getting each other up. Um, but we just got to, you know, keep that going and prolong that from first half to second half. I think, like, Amari and I have talked about this too, when you're in your fourth year, you really start to think about how you are a product of the efforts of so many people and of a program, and so just wanting to give back to that. And, you know, you see the people put in the work, rebounding for you every day, like, just pouring their heart out into scouts and stuff like that. And so I think it's just an opportunity to really pay it back your senior year and just see all that work manifest that we've, like Galatians 6-9, where we've really been grinding out. I really want to see that produced for Team 48.